Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to create image variations inside of Kubrick by using a random seed. So in our image generator we can choose one of the suggested prompts or write a prompt ourselves. Um, so we're going for this cinematic movie shot of Jacked Mountain Peaks. We have a bunch of negative prompts and negative prompts are pretty important. Also good to mention maybe that um, the weight of the prompt is in the beginning. So if you want to see something, if you think empty or hidden is most important, then it's better to somehow implement that in the beginning of your prompts. Um, so let's go and keep with 1280 by 720. We have our model called Kubrick Moody. And in the settings, I always like to take the steps a little higher. And what you can see right now here is minus one for seed. And this means that every time when you generate a new image, you will have a different seed. So that also means that when you want to keep the same seed and change things slightly, it's good to save that seed because right now we don't have automatic saving, um, but it will be easier to generate a whole bunch of different images. So the results will be much more different than when you keep the same seed. So let's generate this image. All right, so we have this image. What we can do now is download this image. Um, but you will also see it up here as in your history. But right now, if we leave all the settings and the prompt and everything the same and we hit generate again, it's gonna give you a completely different image. There we go. So we can do this a bunch of times and then bring in the different images as layers. All right, let's download this too. And what we can try now is use, for example, our new updated classic model. Um, we've also released improved versions of our models, so they're going to give you bit better results than before. So let's generate this in classic. There we go. Save that. Then generate it again. Download. And generate it once more with classic. So what we can also do is write here a different seed. It can be any random number, like for example this. Uh, let's say we want to generate this with sci-fi. There we go, it's more sci-fi. Now if we keep this same seed and we slightly change our prompts, let's for example remove uh, Remove the fox, the clouds, and, and let's try it again. We will keep a very similar image, but with like slight changes. Because the seed is the starting noise, and keeping the same noise as a start is gonna keep the same initial shapes that the AI uses to create an image. Uh, I can show you that, for example, in our segmentation screen, what I can now do is upload one of the previous images that we've created. And here you can see it still has, it has very, very similar shapes. And that's because it has the same seed. And now, yeah, we can also, for example, upload the different generated ones from classic. So these are two different images that I'm just uploading here to compare. So you can see these have a completely different shape. 
And so these are very similar in shape. So you can kind of see that it started out with these two shapes over here and work from there. Um, so yeah, this is a way to work with image variations and make sure to download them all because you can uh, definitely look at them back right here and then download them. Uh, but when you want to use them as layers, you have to upload them from your folder.